Uh, I used to have uh, two of these trucks, and uh, in 1984, when we had a youth center where we worked with troubled kids, and uh, we had two of these, and we collected food and clothes for poor people down in the uh, sections of town where they're pretty hungry, you know. So we collected food and uh, clothes, and uh, then after the youth center closed because we couldn't get any support from people, we finally ran out of money. And uh, so uh, I sold one of the trucks. I should have kept it. And then I put shelves in it and uh, made it into a tape library. So that's where I keep all of my multi-track tapes. And my assistant here, Dr. Watson. <laughs> hey, Dr. Watson. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he'll go along with it. He, uh, we keep all of his baby stuff. All of his stuff about his Child career stuff. in here. We keep all the stuff about him in here. Ever ever since he was born. We need to we need to go open the side door. I'm gonna open the side door. Sure. Then you'll be able to get a bunch of light. You'll be able to get a bunch of light inside. You can at least go see how the shelves are set up and everything there to hold all the tapes. So you can see the shelves up in there. Lots of stuff that uh, was never anything. Like there's a tape of a group called Limey and the Yanks, and it was a uh, one. American guy and five or six, or no, it was one uh, English guy and four or five American guys, and uh, they were on the Red Skelton show or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Just, that's the best way to describe it stuff. <laughs> like, here's a tape. I don't know if you ever heard of, you ever heard of Red West? Not me. <laughs> Red West. There's a tape done in 66 on Red West. Red West was Elvis, Presley, Elvis Presley's bodyguard. You know, he's in all those movies with him, big red, big red-headed guy, muscle guy. So, see, that's an old tape. You think he could have uh, made a hit? Oh, we tried. We had one chart record with him. Kim Fowley and I produced him on one record that made the charts called The FBI Story. I don't remember what it was about. Must have been about the FBI. That was in like 1960. Oh, here's some Richard Berry tapes. Okay, well here, are some things I did on Richard. When I when I first recorded Richard, they didn't ha didn't have anything but mono. I mean, single track, and then went to two track. Some of this stuff is most of it's mono. Some of it's two track. I think. But you can see the date when I, even when I edited it was uh, 8 63 so I had recorded it before that, a couple of years before that. So this is stuff like Well Done, Last Night in My Dream, Stop Your Crying, two versions of that. Uh, here's uh, Why Do You Do the Things You Do, I'm Your Fool. Uh, let me see what this one is. Uh, this is uh, It's All Right. Versions? Uh, just two cuts. I don't know why there's two cuts. But... Maybe there's also versions there. No, I don't think so. Uh, what's this one? See, I've got pulled to the Richard Berry Master Reel 31796. That's when I wanted to do it. Here come, here's a, here comes the rain and last night of my dreams by the Pharaohs with Richard Berry. And here's I'm your fool. Uh, oh, here's a just a little bit more, Dorothy. Just a little bit more, and why must I cry? Dorothy Berry and the Idols, that's what it was called. I think this is a composite of all these various tapes that I found a cut here and a cut there and two cuts there off of, and I put everything on this Richard Berry. Yeah, seven and a half and 15 IPS masters. Uh, but uh, this is 
part of the treasure chest, I guess, right there. That is a look at that old tape box. It's I don't even what kind that was, 111 or something. That had to be where research is the key to tomorrow. So this tape, some of it's 38 years old. That's that's that in itself is a little hard to believe, isn't it? <laughs>